Fernandez told us to drive to the parking lot of a church in southeast Denver. There, we'd be directed elsewhere for an on-the-record interview. Instead, he personally showed up. We asked for his driver's license to establish his identity. He produced it. Fernandez said he was upset with the way the government was handling his drug investigation. He said it was blown way out of proportion and that he was targeted because of his refusal to cooperate with an IRS agent. My problem started back in 1981 when I was vice president at Combs Aviation as aircraft salesman. I was approached by the Internal Revenue Service to disclose anybody who paid for an airplane in cash and basically let him go on a fishing expedition through all my aircraft sale files. I refused. At that point, I was told verbally I would regret that incident. I've been pursued and set up actually once by the drug enforcement agencies because of this refusal. And I feel this is a continuing harassment to deny me my rights. And this is why I'm here. I'm asking the public, particularly any judge that might listen, to just allow me to turn myself in uh, without fear of being shot while I'm turning myself in or being hung in prison and said I committed suicide. Hernandez said he's not an angel. He said anybody in the aircraft sales business sees things that are suspicious, and he admits some of the planes he sold ended up in narcotics transactions. Are you involved yourself in trafficking of any kind? Well, on that I can't answer until, until we get to court. I am, I'll put it this way, I'm not this kingpin that I'm alleged to be. I know of these things that are going on around me, but I am not pointing the finger, nor will I testify against anybody on, on evidence that is gathered under these tactics of harassment and physical harm and threat of long prison terms. Federal authorities say Hernandez employed a drug distribution ring of up to 200 people. Forty of those people were arrested in a federal roundup last October. He says he's willing to turn himself in if he can cross-examine informants and be assured that a reasonable bond will be set. His current bond is a half million dollars. Ward Lucas, 9 News.